Okay, so I got an email from Ruben recently. Uh, he's the creator of Phoenix Linux, and uh, this is the latest version, and it is really good. Uh, I'll just jump into screen capture. So this is Phoenix Pi Mark One Plasma, and this is the light version. So let's log in. So pop in my password, and you can see that it comes up very quick with the interface. If we go down the bottom right hand corner, you can see the time here. Uh, all your speakers and various things are there network and also different devices and if we press the windows key and start typing chrome you can see that various different things come up so i've got chrome web browser there so let's go for that and you can see the search engine is uh, ecosia so you're planting trees uh, if i do a search for a video because the video performance in this is excellent so uh, this is a 4k video but i'm going to play it at 1080 uh, and i'm going to go full screen so settings, let's go for 1080 and go full screen. And I'll right click and stats for nerds. So let's have a look at this. So it's already playing at 1080. It's dropped two frames of 142 so far. Six frames dropped to 321. Looks decent. As you can see from the screen, it doesn't look like it's dropping a lot of frames. This is 1080 playing on the Pi. I'm uh, not sure if it's overclocked, I haven't looked at anything like that. I've literally just installed it and uh, and started playing around with it and I've really liked it so far. But yeah, uh, somehow Ruben manages to get excellent YouTube performance out of a Raspberry Pi 4. And that is one of the weakest parts of the Raspberry Pi 4 is YouTube performance or streaming video. And as you can see here, looking brilliant. So let's quit out of that. and go down to the bottom here again. Uh, so you can see these various different shortcuts on the left hand side here, um, but also there's various things installed as well. So RetroPie is already installed, Gnome Paint Drawing, View Noir. You can see you can go straight into a Chromium Incognito browser. Uh, Phoenix Linux just takes you to the site. Multimedia, you can see there's various different things already installed there. Office, we've got Abbey Word. Lots of settings options here. There's always, in the Phoenix Linux versions, there's always lots of customization. I haven't played around with it because I actually like the way it looks anyway. And because the YouTube performance was so good, I've just sort of carried on with that as it is. You can see under system and utilities. But if we go into the terminal, you see terminal looks a bit different. Uh, we can do NeoFetch to have a look at what we've got. So Phoenix Pi Mark I Plasma Core, this is my Pi 4 8 gig. So it's KDE and KWIN. And you can see there's various things under theme. Breeze, Elementary, Numix, uh, and the icons here. Oh, and it's not overclocked, so this is running at 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, so that's nice to see that we're getting that great performance on video, but with no overclock. And all the file management looks really nice, so if we click on that. You can see all the folders look pretty decent. Shows up the removable drives, so we can have a look in the boot partition, for instance, and in the config.txt and see if there's anything going on in there. Most things look standard. Yeah, there's very little that's been changed in that. So let's have a look at some of the settings, uh, because there's usually loads of settings in uh, Phoenix Linux. So if we click on this settings icon here and have a look. So workspace theme. Adapter, Breeze, Breeze Dark. So what does Breeze Dark look like? Let's apply that. Oh yeah, very nice. Desktop theme. Let's go adapter for that. Colors, fonts, icons, all sorts of customization, as there is in a lot of Linux distros, but you often find that Phoenix Linux has more and more customization in there. Yeah, quite like the dark. Uh, it looks quite nice with this. Now I couldn't see how to do the effects in this one. Um, so there's compis, which if I type in compis, uh, you get this configure. And uh, there's loads and loads of different themes and effects and things. And one of the ones I really liked uh, was the 3D cube, which is where that we've got all these cube reflection, cube gears, all sorts of effects and things. Uh, so if I go back up to the top, so say for instance, rotate cube. If I double click on that, You can see that it's enabled uh, and the binding seems to say uh, control alt and button one. So I guess that's left mouse button. Rotate left, control alt left. 
but none of these seem to work. So I think you somehow need to enable it. But what I'll do is I'll show you in an older video of mine, as the YouTube performance is so good in this, how it used to work. And even the scrubbing's pretty decent in YouTube as well. Scrubbing is usually a bit of a problem in some uh, Raspberry Pi distributions. Uh, here we go. So if I hit play here, some of the effects that you can use to change through different operating systems. And it's a bit of fun, but I really do like it. It looks great. Okay, so if you want to get hold of this, uh, if you type in Phoenix Linux in your browser and go to Phoenix Linux here, and this is available in loads of different languages, so at the top you can select language. And if we go to distros, and so Phoenix Pi Mark 1 Plasma, uh, there's Core and Light. I downloaded the Light because the Light is a slightly bigger download. And if you download the zip file, you can use Raspberry Pi Imager to write that to an SSD drive, a USB stick, or an SD card. I'm using an SSD drive, a Kingdian 60 gig SSD drive, and the performance does seem really, really nice on it. So thanks very much to Ruben for letting me know about this. Uh, I've always loved all the Phoenix distributions. They, they just look great. Uh, there's loads of interesting things in them, and as I say, the YouTube performance is brilliant. Speaking of YouTube, check out his channel, uh, so Andrew Rama. Uh, if you view these videos, they're only short videos, um, but there's a bit that I chose not to put in. There's a load of sound effects uh, which are in this operating system. They're optional, and uh, when you start it up for the first time, you can choose to have it or not. But I figured as I was doing a video on it and I was going to be talking over it, uh, having the sound effects weren't there. But they're great fun, uh, and it's really interesting to see the take on it. So yeah, check out that channel, and I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.